So, Kyle, straight up, who do you have winning and why? Oh, I think the Packers got this one. I mean, after the shellacking that they took from the Saints last week, this team needs to bounce back in a big way. They're at home. I think this team is going to be electric from the start. I think they're going to be focused, and I think they're going to put an absolute beatdown on the Lions. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to look like what he was last year in his MVP form, so I wouldn't be surprised if he throws for three touchdowns. I think they're going to definitely keep an emphasis on running the ball with Aaron Jones. He was largely ineffective last week on the ground, so I think he'll have a nice pop-off game in this game against the Lions. I just I don't see the Lions really being competitive in this game. It just seems like Aaron Rodgers and this team have had Detroit's numbers for years, and I really kind of see that being the point in this game as well. I think the Packers are going to be able to force some turnovers from Jared Goff just because I think that defense is going to have a fire lit under their ass after they got absolutely destroyed by Jameis Winston in that Saints offense last week. So if I'm looking at this game, I think the Packers are going to win this by at least 14 points, possibly 17. I'm going to say that the Packers win this one 35 to, let's say 35 to 21. I think Detroit's going to be able to score. I just don't think it's going to be enough, but I do think that the Packers are, by and large, they're going to be ready for this game, and they're going to put a beat down on the Lions in this game. So I'm going to agree with the outcome, but I'm definitely not going to agree on the score, only because here's my counter. Green Bay played so poorly against New Orleans on both sides of the ball. Defensively, embarrassed. Offensively, couldn't get it going. Just an annihilation on both fronts, right? Whereas... Detroit last week was able to come all the way back within within a single possession of coming back to tie that game against San Francisco in San Francisco, which is just completely beyond me because nobody expected Jared Goff to play as well as he did. If I'm being honest, I legitimately say this with the utmost respect. I thought that they sent this man Jared Goff to Detroit to end his career. Like I, it was like. The quarterback graveyard of everybody that has come before him and, you know, former number one overall pick gets sent out to Detroit. And it, that's all we were going to ever hear from Jared Goff. He was going to play out the rest of his contract, pl- probably be a backup somewhere else in this league. You know what I'm saying? As fucked up as it sounds, that's just the way I saw that path going. And then last week, he absolutely c- torches the 49ers. Meanwhile, the 49ers just kept one of the hotter teams in the NFL in terms of offensive put out. Uh, and Philly kept them to 11 points this week. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend like Detroit didn't go out there and put up a big fight against one of the better teams in the NFC. So I think that they're going to make this a lot closer. What's crazy is Jared Goff's main target is legitimately a tight end, and they still made do, and they scored 33 points basically in the second half. And I think that Jamal Williams and DeAndre Swift – uh, Deontay, DeAndre, what, what's DeAndre. that? What's this? DeAndre. Yeah, it is DeAndre. Okay, I thought I was crazy. But, you know, their ground game is not terrible. They did lose Okuda, Jeff Okuda for the season with a ruptured Achilles. So I don't necessarily expect much from the defensive side of the ball. But unless Green Bay's defense legitimately does a whole 180 and flips it to the competitiveness that they had last year, I don't necessarily see this having any defense. I literally could see this game going point for point because I think Jared Goff, like I said last week, has a massive chip on his shoulder and he wants to show the world, yo, we may not win a lot of games, but it sure as shit ain't going to be because of me. That man put up points last week. That man led offensive drives, got field goals, and capitalized on turnovers or whatever they could from the opportunities they were presented. So I think that they make this a lot closer. I'm not going to give a score just because I, I'm personally not a score giver or a score predictor. I'm never really right. But I genuinely feel in my heart of hearts, if this game were to go back and forth, I wouldn't be surprised. I do have Green Bay winning just because they are a better team on paper and because Aaron Rodgers is going to definitely be ticked from last week. But if Detroit comes out of nowhere and they make it competitive, don't say I didn't warn you.